In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an envelope distort. It's quite easy. First, you want to create a shape. So using the pen tool, all I did was create a shape. And again, if you want to close your path, which you have to, you have to make sure that you see that little circle and you can close your path. If you want to adjust your points, you can always drag them out. And if you want to duplicate this, I'm selecting it with the black. If you want to duplicate this, control C and control V, and now I have it duplicated. Then I can go over on the side here and make sure I have my reflex tool. Click on that. I can reflect it vertically. I have my preview clicked on so I can see it and hit OK. If you want to scale it, you can hold shift and grab any of the corners just like all of the other ones and you can adjust it. If it is too tall, you can click on any of your anchor points and drag them down. So I've already created my shape here, so I'm just going to delete these ones. And all I did was type in Eddie's Film Festival using my text tool, E Eddie's, create another one, Film Festival. By opening up your character box, you can adjust your characters if you wanted it to be a different font. That's just one that I had. You can, you can always scale it. So as you move it over top, you can scale it to any size that you want. Just make sure it fits within the constraints of the box. And I'm just going to use the ones that I've already made. Eddie's Film Festival. And the key to this is make sure that the font is actually sitting behind the shape. So I'm going to click on the Film Festival and Object, Arrange, Send Back, and then hold Shift. So they're both selected. I can see my line is selected and my shape. And then Object, Envelope Distort, Make with Top Object. So here it is. Again, the text, we need to Object, Arrange, Send Back. Hold shift, create the, click on the top shape, object, envelope distort, make a top object. And that's how you create the envelope distort.